Watch that. President Biden's remarks. I think it was yeah. about what he didn't say. Uh, what he did say. What he didn't say was the restraint. Uh, oh. Again, raising the specter of a possibility that we may be looking at a, a more significant uh, possibly in the form of a yeah. as so many have been speculating in these last couple of weeks yeah. about the troop and military hardware movement and the same. Yeah. Yeah. To President Biden's remarks, I think it was yeah. less about what he didn't say uh, than what he did say. What he didn't say was a restraint. Uh, oh. Again, raising the specter of a possibility that we may be looking at a, a more significant uh, possibly in the form of a yeah. than so many have been speculating in these last couple yeah. of weeks about the troop and military hardware movement and the same. This is Proverbs chapter 15, verse 3. And it says, The eyes of the Lord are in every place, beholding the evil and the good. Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, all honor, and all glory to Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Racha Kodash. I also want to give double honors to our apostles and our elders of Great Millstone. I want to say peace, blessing, and many salutations unto your elect across the four winds of this earth, fulfilling your lots in all truth and all sincerity. I am the brother Sha'ar from the Great Millstone Dallas branch, coming to you all with another lesson, which is inspired by the Holy Spirit. And Lord willing, this lesson here will be edifying unto the flock. And uh, what you all saw here in the background of this video, all right, or as the introduction to this video, I'd rather say is uh, one of the chariots of the Lord. And this video was posted by the bro, uh, Manat Tazak, out there. And um, he's out there in Cali. You know, those brothers uh, split up to different parts of Southern California, if I'm not mistaken. I think he's part of the GMS Inglewood branch, if I'm not mistaken. But it's a very, um, very beloved brother, posts very edifying videos, and he always posts hot topics of what's going on on this page. His page is GMS space. Get this work too all together. Subscribe and be edified if you already not. All right. But he went in or I'd rather say he posted a clip of a chariot. He posted a clip out there in uh, the Middle East, all those rockets being let off. And there was a chariot that was flying in the background surveilling. OK. And the thing about it is this ain't nothing new. These are documented within the scriptures. They're not no big head green guys that's within those objects. All right. When you read the Bible, you come to an understanding that those orbs of light that moves across the sky are heavenly bodies. And those are the chariots that the scriptures goes into. And he uses certain scriptures or I'd rather say it like this. There's certain scriptures that describe the Lord. I'm sorry, the Lord's chariots as actual chariots. There's certain scriptures that, the, uh, that describe them as wheels. There's a scripture in Zechariah 5 that describes that as a flying robe. And you can even go into the account of the three wise men finding Yahawashai during his birth. And they described it as a star moving from one part of the sky to another that rested over that manger. So there's ample scriptures in the Bible that you can find the Lord documenting his chariots. All right. And again, as I said earlier, you got all these ways to describe the chariots, but they're also described as his eyes as well, because you have the angels that inhabit those chariots and the Lord has his eyes in the heavens and he has his eyes on the earth via the angels in the heavens and the prophets down here in the earth. Not that he has to use us to see what's going on. Absolutely not. He's omnipotent. So he sees all and knows all. But you have scriptures that describe the eyes of the Lord. All right. Or you have scriptures that describes the Lord's chariots as his eyes in certain verses. And there's another scripture that comes to mind as well. And that's going to be in the book of Second Chronicles, chapter 16, verse nine. And it says, for the eyes of the Lord run to and fro throughout the whole earth to show himself strong in the behalf of them whose heart is perfect towards him. And the Lord is going to use these chariots to help aid in our defense here very soon. There's getting ready to be a large accusation that's getting ready to be pointed toward this thing of ours, which we are the Hebrew Israelites. And you see this notion of propaganda being pushed 
pertaining to Hamas and Israel and all the fighting back and forth that's taking place. And you have those small hats that are trying to kick those Palestinians out of that land, which I believe it's a lot more that's really going on within that. All right. As you read it in uh, what? Second Corinthians 2 and 11. All right. At least Satan should have any advantage over us, but we are not ignorant to Satan's devices. So there's definitely a lot more that's taking place right now. But the Lord is monitoring everything. He's allowing everything to come to pass. And he also has his angels that are watching everything. All right. You have angels that control the hearts of the minds of men. And you have other angels that document things reported. At the end of the day, we don't know the exact administrations behind the heavenly host. But we definitely do know and can very well see that the Lord is clearly working right now. All right. We can very well see that the Lord is working. And there's another scripture that comes to mind here in the book of Second Ezra, the sixth chapter. And let's get it. And I jump straight to the point here. This is Second Ezra, chapter six. And I'm going to start at verse 18. And it says, and it said, behold, the days come that I will begin to draw nigh and to visit them that dwell upon the earth. And the Lord does that in very um, in uh, tons of ways. All right. A lot of ways that he's visiting the earth. I mean, you see the events that are happening on the earth, and that's a clear indicator that the Lord is visiting. All right. He sent his Holy Spirit down here upon the prophets to testify and preach this gospel. That's a form of him visiting this earth. And he also has his chariots, which ascend and descend. They move to and fro. His eyes move to and fro, just as it was read earlier. In Second Chronicles chapter 16, just as it was read earlier in Proverbs chapter 15, verse 3. All right, the Lord is definitely without a doubt making inquisition and drawing nigh unto this place. And that leads me to this following verse, verse 19. And it says, and I will begin to make inquisition of them what they be that have hurt unjustly with their unrighteousness. And when the affliction of Zion shall be fulfilled. And that inquisition goes into the Lord making an inquiry upon matters that are upon the earth and to inquire on something, you're inspecting it. You're looking into it with all diligence. And again, he does that by the form of his angels. All right. And you read it in uh, Zephaniah, the first chapter, it goes into how the Lord will shine a candle upon Zion and will punish those men that are settled on their lease. All right. Now that right there is going into the house of the household of Israel, how the Lord is visiting. He's shining that light upon the Israelites that I hear, and he's going to punish those that are doing the work of the Lord deceitfully. Okay. But part of that light are the angels. All right. And when those chariots are being revealed, or whenever we see those chariots outside, yeah, it's one thing that we rejoice, but it's another thing to take heed because as the elder Yashawamba and our camp makes mention often, those are our spiritual supervisors. All right. So yeah, they're scoping things out, what we're doing, what we're saying. All right. Shining that light upon us. And reporting back to the Lord. And how much more do you apply it with the evildoers, with the heathen? All right. The Lord, it clearly says it here in 2 Ezra 6 and 19, that the Lord is making inquisition on them that have hurt unjustly with their unrighteousness. And how's he doing that? How's he, how's he making an inquisition? All right. He's seeing it. As it was read earlier, the eyes of the Lord move to and fro. That's that, it's part of that inquisition that's being made. All right. Again, when you go into inquiring on something, you're thoroughly inspecting it, okay? Just as that chariot did with those missiles that was flying. And that's one example out of many examples. Brothers have done tons of lessons and videos touching up on the chariots, but through the spirit, I find that to be a topic that I love to go into, all right? Topic that I love to go into, okay? So be prepared to see a lot more take place. The Lord is definitely showing his face and he's going to show his face in a lot more ways here very soon. We're at the last final uh, pieces of prophecy. We're at the last phase of the last end of this world. So keep your loins girt about, same with myself, continue to press forward. We almost out of here. And praise the Lord. All right? Call hello, Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shai. But that's definitely without a doubt what that was. There wasn't no other rocket that was beside those rockets. You've seen that orb of light, that chariot, move up in the sky and stop and move back down and then stop. Regular <laughs> regular uh, objects don't do that. That's definitely of an intelligence that operates on a higher plane of this known world right now. And that being, 
a spirit from the heavens. All right. So I'm going to end it off on that. All praise to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rakakwadash. Double honors to our apostles and our elders of Great Millstone. Peace, blessing, and many salutations unto you elect across the four ones of this earth, fulfilling your lots in all truth and all sincerity. Shalom.